I got in Amway when I was 21 years old. This, I'm gonna tell you this story. My distributor was this guy named, my sponsor was a guy named John Walker. I lived in Cleveland, he lived in Rochester, New York. I got laid off from Ford Motor Company. I wasn't working, so I didn't have no reason to get up in the morning. Every single morning at 5.30 on the dot, my phone would ring. I pick up the phone, hello. Steve, this is John Walker. How you doing, man? It's gonna be a great day. How you feeling? Hey, John, I'm sleeping. Hey man, it's gonna be a great day. And he hang up. The next day at 5.30 in the morning, bring, hello. Steve, this is John Walker. How you doing, man? It's gonna be a great day. How you doing today? John, I'm asleep, man. Hey man, I just wanna tell you it's gonna be a great day. Click. Next morning, bring. Hello? Now I'm mad now, you know, this been going on a couple weeks and I kind of know who it is. He didn't change a damn thing. Steve, Sean Walker, how you doing, man? It's gonna be a great day today. Man, I was so bad, man. I hang that phone up. 37 days in a row, he called me the exact same way because he was teaching me something. I didn't know it, and every single day, I picked the phone up. Yeah. Steve, John Walker, man. Yeah, John, yeah, it's gonna be a great day, click. And then one day, the 38th day, he, he told me how many days it was, he kept running. He picked up the phone, he said, I said, hello? He said, hey, Steve, it's John Walker. I said, yeah, man. He said, man, can I ask you something? I said, yeah, man. He said, why do you answer the phone like that in the morning? I said, what are you talking about? He said, every time I call you, I've called you 37 days in a row and you keep answering the phone like something's wrong. I said, hey man, I got laid off. I'm getting unemployment. You know, I ain't got to get up early, man. I said, w -w what's up? He said, I'm really disappointed in you, man. He said, man, when you gonna change your attitude? I said, ain't nothing wrong with my attitude. He said, yeah, it is. He said, when you wake up in the morning, man, you got a bad attitude, which pretty much explains why you have been having a lot of bad days. And he said, man, I hate that about you, man, because you're such a cool dude. You got so much potential. He said, man, I'm sorry to bother you. And he hung the phone up. Man, let me tell you something. That, 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 that cut me so deep, man, because, you know, I don't like nobody thinking I'm something, but I'm acting like I ain't. That, 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 you don't even understand what they did to me. So the next morning, I thought about this all day. I said, man, this dude, he been playing me for 37 days. He been calling me. Oh, oh. Next morning, I'm damn near sitting up in the bed. Bring this bring this Hello? Hey, Steve, it's John Walker. I said, hey, John, what's happening, man? What's going on with you, baby? I say to Steve Harvey, man. He said, Steve, how's it going? I said, man, I'm having a great day, man. I'm having a great day, John, man. You don't believe it, man. I got some great stuff gonna be happening. He said, man, you my man. Click, and he hung up. And I wanted him to ask me what had happened, but he never did. Then one day he called me, he said, hey, man, you're gonna be sheer greatness because you've learned how to wake up. 21 years later, 22, I got a gig in Chicago on the radio. You know what I was? The morning drive guy. You know what I've been doing since 1991? Every single morning, I'm in 112 cities. I talk to nine and a half million people every week. I have the number one adult contemporary radio show in the world. I wake people up every morning, and I wake people up with the right attitude because my attitude changed. So God turned me into the morning man. It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Cut it on and watch how I do your every morning.